Greetings and welcome to the channel. Today we are at St Margaret's Church in Stratton St Margaret, which is the suburb of Swindon. Let us begin. I've never been inside here. It'd be quite nice to see what it's like inside. I'm not even sure if I'm approaching it the correct way. We'll find out in a minute. Ah, oh, this will do. The exterior seems somewhat bleak and severe. It is possible there were parapets or gables, but they have long since gone. The squat West End Tower is modern, 19th century. The exterior of the archway of the North Isle doorway is worth examining. It is early Norman work and was rebuilt into the present position in 1280. There appears to be a light on inside. The porch is a 14th century addition to the 13th century church. On the outside walls are traces of small incised dials, a primitive form of clock or sundial. Sometimes these were called mass dials. Beneath the plaster of the east jamb of the doorway is a 14th century water stone. There are traces of mason marks near the door handle. The porch carries the original 14th century roof beams. There are traces of mason marks by the door handle. Note I've had issues with some audio, so I've had to do some at home. The man I'm about to speak to was really helpful, but his voice was very hollow and quiet. Hello, all right. I've just come to look at the church, that's all. I've not been inside before, but I've seen it from the outside. I understand the nave was constructed about 1280, is that right? Yeah. Would you have a history guide that I can look at as I go around the church? Have a read of that. Oh, thank you. That's brilliant. This will be a handy guide to go around with. I wasn't sure if the church was open all the time. Is it open most days, the church? No, or? no, no. it's okay. only uh, special occasions and at the moment we're having restoration work at oh. the Bell Tower. Oh, right. Um, we're going right. to have a uh, toilet down the bottom here and uh, a pull-out kitchen over there. Oh, okay. I've noticed some of the churches are doing that. It's quite nice to have a better community space for people. Other than the um, using the centre over the road there. Yeah. So are the bells themselves actually being restored at all? Yeah, they are. They've oh, okay. They've done as well. All oh, right. And uh, how many bells are there? I know the oldest bell is from 1669. I think it's six, I think. Okay. This seems to be correct from the guide. Yeah, I think it's six. I'm not sure. I'm not a bell ringer. No, OK. Um, but uh, they've been restored. They're, they're lifting them up to a mezzanine floor. Oh, right. There's a mezzanine floor going in there. Oh, yeah. And there's a stairway going here. Yeah. Um, Apologies. The audio is very hissy at this point, so I'll just say that he takes me over to see the plans. Plans over here, sir. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Is that the bell tower one? Yeah, I think it is. Ah. Oh, they're nice drawings. Yeah, one of the bell ringers. Um, yeah, that's what it's going to look like. Ah. There's a toilet going in there. Yeah. As I say, there's the stairs going underneath there. There's a baby changing room and the toilet's in there. That's brilliant. And in this corner here, there's a sort of a pull-out kitchen. Yeah. yeah. So I take it some of the pews will be removed from this corner, will they? Will. they? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Eventually. Yeah. You can see they've just been moved across yeah. at the moment. I visited some churches where they've, um, they've taken some of the pews out so they can have more dynamic seating. Well, as you can see. Yeah, seat you've got a few there. here. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's handy to do that nowadays. Yeah. Well, the pews are lovely. I, I love looking at the pews. Yeah. But for flexibility, it's nice to have a bit of both, isn't it, I think, nowadays? Yeah, yeah lovely. Brilliant. Thanks for that, yeah. then. I'll have a little look around, then. 
Is it likely to be open in very long? Or Sorry? Is it going to be open long now? Have I got half an hour or so to wander around? Well, you've got half an hour, yeah, because, yeah. I mean, there's the funeral going on this morning. Oh, is there? That's not until 12, yeah. plenty of time. Yeah, oh, lovely. Yeah. Thank you. As I said, the nave of four bays was constructed about 1280. The pillars are particularly graceful, with richly moulded capitals of nailhead and dogtooth design. The bases of the pillars are moulded, and each base is of a different design. The pulpit is dated from 1848 and the lectern 1896. The north wall contains an ancient early Norman doorway. The recessed tomb contains no figure. The workmanship is poor, but of the same date as the rest of the wall. I've included a slow pan in just to give you some time to look at the details. I don't know for sure, but it looks like this was used for the harvest service. This is a close up of the recessed tomb. The chancel is early 19th century. A small light high above the chancel arch was discovered when the old chancel arch was raised to its present position. The gilded shields on the roof beams ends are interesting. Those over the sanctuary are painted with symbols such as the cross and crown, whilst the others are of families connected with the village, the De Lacy swan heads, the archers arrowheads, 
the combined arms of the Diocese of Gloucester and Bristol and the arms of Merton College, Oxford. Looking towards the tower arch, we notice that it is modern. The War Memorial Chapel stands where there was originally an ancient chapel, as the 14th century piscina, a shallow basin to wash communion vessels, and shelf in the South War indicates this was the site of the organ until 1896. The font was placed in the church about 1860, when the Saxon font, which was circa 1280, disappeared completely. So here we are back outside the church, let's have a wander around the churchyard and have some different views of the exterior.
Whilst I understand there's a funeral today, it's nice to observe the renewal of life as the snowdrops emerge and give hope for spring. Thank you for joining me on this journey. Look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye for now.